Coming up on 610, atrial fibrillation is an irregular heartbeat that affects millions of people. That's according to the American Heart Association. And it's more commonly known as AFib. As a part of our Ask the Expert series, 7 News anchor Kelsey O'Donnell spoke with a doctor from Bon Secours about the severity of the condition and what could happen if it goes untreated. Every beat keeps us moving, and when there's an issue with your heart, doctors say in some cases you can feel it. Atrial fibrillation is a disease of the heart. Um, it's basically an irregular uh, heart rate, and it, it's considered an arrhythmia. Cardioelectrophysiologist Dr. Jeffrey Senfield says six to eight million people are affected by a heart condition known as AFib. It causes an array of symptoms such as shortness of breath, chest pain, um, lightheadedness and, and passing out and it can even make the heart so potentially weak. So it's a very important problem to know that you have and, and to look and talk to a physician to, to talk about it. Doctors say there are a number of causes telling us genetics can play a role along with poor diet and exercise, excessive alcohol use and sleep apnea, but it can be prevented. You can prevent atrial fibrillation, much like for other cardiovascular disorders, high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, you know, maintaining a proper diet, maintaining a proper proper weight, avoiding smoking, um, you know, diet and exercise, all those things are very important um, in prevention of AFib. And then if you've had an episode of AFib, you know, understanding you might have a trigger. Dr. Senfield said some of the more common triggers of atrial fibrillation include spicy foods, excessive caffeine, even hot showers. According to medical professionals, if the condition goes untreated, you could face potentially dangerous long-term effects. It can actually lead to the heart becoming very weak, and that can lead to what we call heart failure, which is the inability for the heart to pump blood correctly, and therefore, and thereby, more fluid will build up in your legs and into your lungs, and you could potentially drown in your own fluids and, and become very, very ill. Just like many other cardiovascular conditions, doctors say AFib can impact your lifestyle and recommend if you have any of the symptoms mentioned to see a doctor. For this week's Ask the Expert, I'm Kelsey O'Donnell. Doctors say more severe cases of AFib can lead to stroke or even brain damage. Treatment options vary from medicines to surgery. You can submit a health topic for our Ask the Experts series. Just head to our website, click the News tab, then click Ask the Expert.